All right, bring you around and let's let's put you on the track. Put you on the track there. All right, ready to go. Let's uh, test some lights. All right, we're we're up and running. We need to turn lights on. Let's turn on uh, LED, the lights. Boom, got one on. Okay, that's that's four. Oh, that's reverse. Yeah, that's right. That's reverse. That's forward. All right, we are. We are good to go. And reverse. Yep. All right, everything is copacetic. We're ready to uh, to take this take this monster and uh, put it in the shell. Kind of. We need to clean do some wire cleanup first before we do that. Okay. You can do some wire cleanup. So I'm putting you back in the holder. All right. So you can you can see me doing the cleanup here. Um, I need to, I was thinking about using a wire tie, I'm turn, turning the uh, soldering station off. I need to put a wire tie on there, so I'm going to find a wiring tie. Uh, I'm walking to the other side here. I, I pulled a wire tie out of, out of the, uh, and let's see if I got another one. Yeah, but they're not quite the same time tight. Well, this is kind of cool. I can show you different different kinds. I can show you different, different kinds and types of wire ties. All right, so uh, we're, we're going to clean this up. We can use all different kinds. We can use a typical bread tie, right? Or we can use we can use this, which is the nice zip tie. Sometimes they give you these and. Uh, uh, Digitrax used to do that in some of their installations where they wanted you to zip tie it. And and again, this would be reasonable to zip tie this right here. Okay. And zip tie that all up. Keeping the to keep it out of the out of the uh, the mechanism. Right. So we can put one right there, that would be kind of cool. Uh oh, but even better yet. Better yet would be use this tie up here, right? Where we want to have the all of this out of the. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and and put a piece of tape on this first to hold that in place. All right, so let's do uh, let's do tape. Captain tape, of course. Captain tape across here. And I don't want to I don't want to include the the side wires in this. Uh, because the side wires are going to move back and forth, and that would make the decoder move back and forth. And yeah, not, not a good thing. The light's not going to move. We don't want the light to move. So we're going to type, tape the light to the decoder like that. Right. I, I don't really want the I don't want this tape being underneath the decoder, so I'm going to cut it off. I'm going to cut cut this this off here. Again, the underneath this has got um, is where the flywheel is so I don't want don't want it involved in the flywheel picking this up a little bit right? pushing it pushing it pushing it now there you go just like that all right now now I've got the two wires so if you can see this I'm pulling the decoder up you see the two wires coming here I don't want this wire in the flywheel I don't all right so now the decoder itself is kind of springy, pushing up, right, along with the the light. And so now I'm going to put this here, like this, around the decoder and around the, the wires. And we're going to cinch that baby up right there around the decoder and around the wires. Just like that. 
Okay, now that will keep it out of the flywheel. Huh? Huh? Okay. Keeping it out of the flywheel. I'm going to cut it off. We don't need all this extra sitting around. There you go. Uh, back in the back here, we've got a lot of wire hanging around. And again, we can we could use different kinds of ties. Uh, you don't want anything that's going to going to be in there. It's going to end up being a problem for you. So you might just want to tape that. You might want to just tape it together. You could do that if you didn't exp if the tape didn't come apart. Um, you notice I'm not using black tape. I'm not. And the reason why I'm not using black tape is because black tape has a tendency to disintegrate over time. It, be, it gets, gets gooey and gummy, and then all of a sudden you get gum and goo and stuff in your flywheel. You do not want that at all. I'm, I'm just, this is a twisty tie. I don't know what it is. It's a piece of wire that's got, got stuff off it. You can, you can use, I, I'll tell you what, a better alternative. So I'm going to pick something here that that uh, that I would rather do this is networking wire or telephone wire for, depending upon where you I mean it's solid right it's solid it's insulated if you don't if you don't leave that like that I mean now you got insulated wire and all you really need is just a little bit and a little twist on it so I'm going to put that here right and I'm going to put it bring it up here right like that Right, we're going to cut it off, cut it off fairly short, right? And then we're going to twist it. And what that's going to do is that's going to provide like a little twisty tie for us. Right? We're going to use a. I hope you can see this. Right? I'm going to use a, use a pair of pair of needle nose pliers, and I'm just going to twist it. If I can get a hold of it, right? twist it, twist it, right? twist it. Like that, right? Because I just want it up out of the way. See it? It's up out of the way. Now make sure that everything else is still still functioning here. You don't want to you don't want to create a problem here, right? Right? Straighten this out, right? You want it to be want it to be straight. I can we can even move it over a little bit. We got that kind of capability here now. All right. Ready? We're going to put the top on. I want to make sure that this part right fits in, fits right in the top, right there, right? And that the decoder, oh crap! The decoder doesn't fit in there! Oh man! Well, it kind of fits in there. It kind of it fits at an angle, but when it fits at an angle, now it touches the touches the flywheel. Ah, <sighs> oh. I was so happy with that. I really was. Well, you can't cut the decoder out. This is what happens when you don't plan ahead. Phooey! What to do? What to do? What would you do? I can make it work, but I have to put it back over here. I have to move the decoder from here to here. See where the where this is this is is shortened here in the neck, and this decoder won't fit in there. Wow, that was dumb. pretty close though it's pretty close but it won't fit up there it's just it's just 
too short. Oh man. Wow. Well, I don't have any choice. I mean, I really don't. Um, at this point, I have got to, I've got to, as they say, fish or cut bait. Um, I've got to, I've got to cut. I've got to cut. And what I got to start to cut with is I got to, I got to cut this out that I, I put on here because this decoder now has to go in the back. It has to go backwards. And they now know ha have no place to, to put this light. Right? So the decoder has to go in the back. I can fold it up like this. right? And I'm not even sure I can do that because there may not be enough room at the top. And before I, I get involved in that, I need to measure here and see where we are. Well, measure measure from the inside of this which touches the top of this so I'm measuring from this up like this right? and I get and I get that so almost an inch right and then I put this here right and and you see that right it's not gonna fit Matter of fact, it bare, the wires barely fit here. Wow. All right, uh, 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 two, number two. All right, let's, let's do this. Let's see what will fit. This may fit at an angle like this and may fit up this way at an angle. In which case we'll, we'll worry about how the light gets in there later. But if we do this at an angle, right, that will fit. That will fit. Yes, no. Well, something, something's holding it. I'm not quite sure what. Something's keeping it from going all the way up in there. So these wires... Yeah, see the wires at the very top of the motor now are an issue because they're not allowing me to come down that extra, I'm going to call it uh, 30, 40 thousandths there, so I can snap this into place. So we got another issue we're going to have to address here, and that's the wires at the top of the, on top of the motor. Wow, wow, wow. Why didn't I see this coming? A simple install all of a sudden has got all kinds of consequences here. So, so these wires have to be flattened out as flat as possible in order to get the shell on. And see, they're, they're even compressed a little bit as I do this. Okay, taking this out here, all right, pulling, pulling this, pulling on this. Make flattening these out as flat as possible, pulling this down like that. All right. And even even this light and how it comes up through there. Let's testing this again. All right, this goes goes this way. 
Oh, we also got this wire hanging through there that doesn't belong there. Okay. That might be part of the problem. Yeah, if you can't get it to get the top on, I mean, you know, all of this is for nothing. Yeah, for absolutely nothing. If you can't get the top on. There we go. Okay, so so that truly was what the problem was, was the wires uh, up on top. And again, this is not quite snapping in place, but we can, we'll make this work. Um, uh, the, the, the flywheel now is kind of, kind of in the way with the decoder, so we're going to have to figure out how to make that, that function. Holy cow, what a mess. Um, I'm going to say this is going to work like this and like, we're going to, we're going to bend these a little bit like that. Okay. We're going to tape this to it, but we're going to tape it at an, at an angle like this. All right. Uh, we might even, which might even be a better thing is to look on the inside of this and the, the width of this top here. Right? I just thought of this, the width of this top like that. All right. Take that, and let's create a create a, a brace that goes across here, so that this sits in the middle of that brace, so that when it's put up inside of there, that forces this to go into the middle. Now we can do that with simply with a toothpick, just like that, right? Cut that toothpick to size like this, right? No, seriously, yeah. You do whatever you got to do. Do whatever you got to do to make this stuff work. Your customers are depending upon you to do this. Make it work. Okay. Now I'm going to try that. I'm going to take it and put it down in there, see if it fits. All right. It it does. It wants to center a little bit, but it's got a it's got quite a quite a a bit of room in there. Um, It'll get it'll get it through here, but once it gets up into here, I'm not so sure that it's gonna gonna center it uh, close enough. I guess can I say close enough? Is that is that okay to say that? I'm gonna put it up on top. I'm gonna put it up on top, like right there, right? I'm gonna glue it to that. You say seriously? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna glue it right there. All right, how are you going to do that? Well, I would use hot glue, but I don't have hot glue. So I'm going to do the next best thing, which is I'm going to use the use this RTV stuff that I have. Remember the RTV? Yeah. Remember this? Remember this stuff that that I pulled all apart? And yeah, now it's all hardened because that was yesterday. I got to get back into it again and get me some get me some fresh stuff, fresh meat here. All right, I got me some got me some fresh goop. All right, find me some some paddle to take the fresh goop out with. All right, now I'm gonna put this on the back of of this LED. I don't know if you can see any of this. I guess you can. Just right on the back of the LED like this. All right, I'm gonna put this goop on there. Goop it up. And I probably could use something that would set, you know, easier within a day or so, but I'm kind of frustrated with this at the moment. End of the day. Ready to call it quits, and there you go. Okay, so I'm going to leave that, leave that set up tonight. Um, not going to touch it till tomorrow. Uh, we know that everything works. We just can't get it in the shell. <laughs> Which tells you what? Tells you if you can't get it in the shell, then there's no sense you doing it. Okay. Yeah, I did a little tiny end scale thing, and yeah, you don't want to hear all this. All right. 
uh, enough for tonight. Um, we shall tackle this in the morning when the crew comes and have a good laugh over it, I guess. Um, later. Alrighty then, it's Friday morning and uh, before the crew gets here I have about two more seconds. See if I can finish this up. I need to finish it up before tomorrow. Uh, let's see, we got uh, light bulbs in. This is set up. Now the way I'm going to put this in is I'm going to kind of like lay it up in here. Light bulb first, right? Or the LED first. I'm going to try to put it in the like that, if you can see that or not, right? Lay it up in there, and again, the spacer should help, right? Put the decoder in, make sure that it's down as far as it can go. So I'm gonna push it down with the, with the tweezers. Right? Now I'm gonna to try to put all this together. Like that, yes, ah, not quite. Not quite, but oh, there it goes. Really? Really? I'm done? Well, I don't know. Let's let's test it. Let's see what happens. Okay, hold on. Take you out of the stand here and we'll go back up over to the test area. Right, I'm gonna put it up here. There's no um, No power on, so turn the power on the system. So power, power and plus turns it on. Dot up in the upper right hand corner. This is on a 402 now. On the 500, it does it a little bit differently. We're going to select the decoder. Uh, so so loco three in this case because it's a brand new one. Loco. Oh, it's over on this throttle. So we got to make sure we know that, right? Turn it on here, so we're gonna do that. I'm gonna to try to back out a little bit. Okay, so we got light there, which means we got power, we're ready to go, and we're gonna see what we got. Oh boy. Nothing. See if we got, uh, see if we got lights. Well, I got a light. I got a light there. Oh, I got a light in the cab, too. That's good. Is it where it's supposed to be? Oh, good. Good. We got all that. So, what's making it not not move? Well, I have a good idea. I have a good idea, right? We know it moves. We've seen it. I can hear a noise. I think it's the flywheel. Yeah, the decoder is stuck on the flywheel. Holy cow. All right. Again, trying to do this in real time. Um, rather, than, rather than bore you guys with all of this, I'm going to take this apart and uh, see what we're going to do with it. Um, I got to get this out of the flywheel so that it'll work. Um, I'm not going to, again, record this while I'm fooling with it, but basically I'm just going to take the the decoder and mash it up in the top and see if I can't get it to, to stay up in there. I'll let you know lapse time here. I'm going to keep track of a lapse time and then we'll go from there. I'll bring you back after I've got that done. And then I'll let you know how long it was. Okay, six minutes have gone by and what I've done is nothing more than to restrap this. The the um, captain tape that was on there kind of let go. I've re retaped it. Uh, I've turned the decoder over, right? And it looks like it's touching the the flywheel, but in fact there's like ten thousandths there. It's hard to see when you kind of get get close to it. You can see that there's about ten thousandths space between the two, right? Uh, the thing that you don't want to do and is, is that you want, don't want to have the decoder so that when this moves, the decoder moves, right? The decoder is moving a little bit, but not much. 
the light itself now without the little piece which fell off uh, is actually now taped back here and is perfect uh, that'll fit right up in there just exactly where it's supposed to go see the mark and and everything and just like that okay now back no flywheel thing all right we're ready to go we're going to try this again this time now again this the decoder itself doesn't fit up in there very well so we're going to have to kind of go from front to back and hope that we don't pinch the decoder down again because we've only got like ten thousandths there all right and try this again all right i'm not thinking this is going to be successful but we're going to try it anyhow all right, all right. down in well actually clips clips a lot easier so hopefully that's going to work uh and uh, taking you out of the stand again let's let's make another shot at it um hmm. doing the trucks back and forth see what we got I'm already not liking the way the trucks are sitting. The truck is truck is sitting up uh, in the back, and that's an indication that the the decoder is uh, is pushing on it. So you can flip. It's kind of loose right there. All right, let's see what we got. Yeah, it's still not going. Oh wait, wait. turn this on. Yeah, it's still not going anywhere. <sighs> All right, let's make another try at it, another stab. Uh, the ultimate is to cut it all out and start all over again, which I ugh, don't want to do that. All right, so it's the next day, and uh, I've been thinking long and hard about this and how to how to fix this. And I said, you know what? I've got another engine just exactly like that that I put a decoder in. What the heck's going on? So this is the one that I put the decoder in. This is the one I'm having a problem with. Notice anything? <laughs> the decoder goes over here. Look. So, guess what I'm going to do? You got it. I'm going to flip the decoder around. Now, um... Not quite sure how I'm going to get it in there. I guess I can put it in there somehow like that. This one, this one had the metal piece across there, and I bent it so that it wouldn't touch the flywheel. Right? So you can see that. Right? Get it zooming in there so you can see that. This one, so it doesn't touch the flywheel. Right? But now this piece. This piece is uh, this hanger here that I cut off so I could put the light on there is not on, you know, not focusing there. This is not on the this other one, right? But that shouldn't make any difference. Now this one is this way, this way, or is it this way? Oh, it's this way with the with the label up. All right, so maybe I can get it in there if I kind of kind of squinch it in there just like that kind of pinch it in there hmm all right so I'm going to work at that um that may be all I have to do and then tape it tape it all up and go for that I'm gonna try that all right uh that's all for today I'm gonna go have dinner and uh, maybe do a little bit more on this and I'll try to keep track